In this example, multiple stockpiles can be calculated with one option. This macro will automatically create all necessary tins of the bases and tops of the stockpiles. A volume report will also be created for each stockpile and volume text will be placed over each stockpile. We've created a new project called Multiple Stockpiles under the Volumes folder and we're using the Configuration Getting Started survey. The training data will be read from a 12D ASCII file. Select File I.O. Data Input 12DA 4DA and we're going to browse up to the Volumes area and pick multiple stockpiles. We're not going to worry about a prefix. We just click Read, Finish. To run the volume calculations, we select Design, Volumes, Stockpile. For this option to work, it's very important that each stockpile has a the same name at the edge. If we were to inquire on the string, you'll see that the name is BB. Each one is BB short for bottom of bank. OK, so in the panel we select the view for the data source and view 1. We're going to calculate a volume and a surface area. We type in the model for our tins which will be lowercase tin space stockpiles. We're going to separate the bases and the stockpiles and the model for the text will be txt space stockpiles. Now we pick the base string so if we can just middle click here and pick out on the bottom of bank. We have the option of using an existing tin. In this case we're just going to get it to triangulate across the bases. The report file will be stockpiles the view to add will be to view 1 and we'll just change the text change the, the stockpile color can stay cyan zero decimal places and click process if you zoom in now you'll see that text has been placed over each stockpile showing the number volume and surface area if we look at the report file select open you'll see that it's again divided up the each stockpile with a number the total fill plan area and surface area if we go and toggle on our contours you'll see the contours there and we go to our minus button and we'll just turn off the bases so you just see the contours over the actual stockpiles themselves to move the text out of the way, we use the option Drafting, Multi-String Translate. Click Name and click in the middle of the text so that the text highlights and accept. As each group of text has a unique name, we can just simply move them out as a group. We can pick on the next lot, move it out. And so forth. 